Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Many refer to so-called naked shorts, the unlawful practice of short selling without actually locating the stock to borrow, as the cause of recent volatility in AMC's stock price. Naked shorting is prevalent in this market. If a party on the large cap market is unable to locate the shares, borrow the shares, or deliver the shares, it is illegal. Yes, under these conditions, it is unlawful and has been prevalent on the market for quite some time. Companies like GameStop and AMC, as well as all these meme stocks, have brought naked short selling to the forefront of the market's attention. Something that has been occurring for a very long time in the small cap market is a significant issue. In actuality, the SEC has not filed many naked short charges. I mean, one was delivered roughly three weeks ago. Therefore, in 2021, there will be more than 90 naked short sales. From December 26, 2016 to July of 2017, the broker-dealer earned $1,600,000 in commissions. It took the SEC four years to file this lawsuit. Case against the Wolfson brothers in 2012. The same thing it took the SEC five years to bring a case to court, and the charges included stock locate issues, order marking violations, failure to borrow, and delivery violations. There are no allegations of fraud or manipulation. I believe this is because these cases are difficult to locate. They are tedious to assemble. And bringing these prosecutions is a genuine issue for the United States. However, now that it is a topic of conversation, we hope to see more naked court cases, particularly those in which it is accused as fraud or deceptive behavior. In all fairness, however, the material must also be brought to the notice of the SEC. In other words, while the SEC has formidable enforcement capabilities, you already know what would satisfy the market the greatest from an enforcement standpoint. To witness a naked briefcase presented swiftly in order to have an effect. And I will give you two instances in which it took four and five years to really bring the case to court. The challenge is that the agency must see the behavior, be able to recognize it, and then examine the broker-dealer, the broker-dealer's record, the fund's record, and the trader's records, as well as speak with individuals. These are extremely tedious cases to assemble, and I believe we have a heightened awareness to this issue in the current climate. Companies and trade activities with more notoriety on the market bring it to the forefront. Perhaps we will see more instances in this sector in the future, but up until now, we have only seen short sale fraud charges favoring activity in the small cap market, since this tends to be a much easier target. I wonder if there is little pressure to do something about naked short selling at this time, because the perception is that the major players are naked shorting if anyone is naked shorting, and they're getting killed. And so it shall be. And every time you have purchased AMC, knowing that the stock has struck this 30 level on the side, you have almost always profited. Therefore, I do not believe that will change anytime soon. If there is a public notion that naked short sellers or short sellers, because naked short sellers, as we all agree, is not something that should be occurring, then this perception is incorrect. And in general, Jacob F. Ren K.L. stated that it is prohibited, albeit it is not always illegal, and that if it ultimately harms the retail investor, the commission, the SECC, is absolutely there to defend the interests of the investing public as a whole. And I would suggest that on some level, much more so than the institutional community, this may be the impetus to devote more time and attention to this. It's interesting because as we've discussed GameStop, the Reddit rebellion, and the apes over the past three to six months, the story has been more about possible manipulation, possible disclosure dynamics, and the ability to push stocks around, and not necessarily the reason why they got to an overly shorted position. However, the narrative is shifting, and I believe the SEC is paying attention. Thanks for watching. We will meet in next video. Goodbye.